Okay, this question right here is a little diabolical, okay? Uh, in, at, at this point here, we have probably talked about this particular interval in class already, but it's worth mentioning here as well. Uh, we're going to figure out what the R value is and what the sum to infinity is, okay? So the A value here is 1, the R it should be pretty clear, okay, notice that the value isn't changing but the sign is, so this is negative 1. Is negative 1 in there, in that region there? No, it's not. Okay, because this is what we called before an open interval between negative 1 and 1. So we're not including those endpoints. So I, I can't include the negative 1 there. So no, here there is no infinite sum. Now, the reason, another reason to think about this is the reason why that doesn't work here is because if you added these together, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1. So this, you could think of this as being... Um, the infinite sum being zero. Or you could just ignore that first one for right now. Negative one plus one is zero. Negative one plus one is zero. Negative one plus one is zero. A whole bunch of zeros plus one. Well, then the infinite sum is just one. So what is it? Zero or one? Now, at this point, we've probably already discussed that there's another argument to suggest that the sum is actually a half. Okay? Uh, anyway, so there, there really is no infinite sum here. Um, anyway. It's a, that's a, a really interesting sequence.